A mechanical failure inside Washington State University's Bustad Hall released white smoke into the third and fourth floors of the building. So I immediately went up to investigate and when I arrived up there, it was obvious both visually and odor wise that smoke was pouring in the vents and starting to come down from the ceilings and you could very much smell the acrid smoke. The WSU Fire Department handled the situation with finesse, but the firefighters made a potentially consequential mistake during the process. When I arrived on scene, um, and once we assured everybody was out, I went ahead and there's a silence option on the alarm panel. I went ahead and silenced it just so we could communicate with the crews to determine what their needs were uh, for the efficiency of the scene. Uh, I understand that when you're outside and the alarm stops, you think, oh, there's no more alarm, people go back inside. And there's only one or two that got back inside. So what can firefighters do to communicate effectively while a fire alarm rings? If there's uh, some kind of LED panel or some visual outside that tells folks whether it's okay or to enter the building or not enter the building, so that we could control the panel. These procedures could effectively help firefighters secure an area and keep everyone safe without unexpected intrusion from those they are trying to protect. Patrick Oldalohos, Murrow News 8.